Hey there, my name is Aaron Adams, and I just wanted to come and share with you something that we're using here at my church that I think might be able to help you at your church. Um, this is an in-ear monitor solution, so many people are hearing about in-ear monitors these days. I still see many posts on Facebook and other such places asking about switching to in-ear monitors. And so what an in-ear monitor is, is just a headphone attached to your uh, audio system in some way that allows you as an individual to decide what you do or don't want to hear, prevents the addition of noise into the room via something like a floor monitor, putting noise at you as a singer or instrumentalist. Those bounce off the walls and get everywhere and then they get into the house and you have to balance the noise coming from these monitors with the noise from the front of house mix and it can be challenging so this should reduce that challenge another benefit is a lot of times these kinds of solutions will allow for individual singers and instrumentalists to decide what they want in their mix so they can hear exactly what they want rather than having two singers sharing a stage wedge a floor monitor if you will that floor monitor probably cost you several hundred dollars four or five hundred dollars you had to have an amplifier channel available for that that might have cost you another four or five hundred dollars so it might cost you a thousand dollars to put together this floor monitor so you have one mix that you're going to want to use for more than one person because the amount you've invested well today you might um, not need to invest that much per individual person to have their own mix and that's exactly what I'm here to talk about because there are several solutions that people use um, P16s by Behringer is a popular one um, my church right now is switching to the EarMix 16 from Personas, but another one people often ask about is wireless in-ear solutions, which you can connect and interface directly with your audio console. I love the idea of directly interfacing with your audio console, but I don't like the expense of wireless solutions. Those can be anywhere from $500 to $800 per individual channel of wireless, and I just don't want to spend that kind of money for up to 10 people on my stage, it's a lot. So this is a wired solution that I wanna share with you that can save you tons and still give you really good results. I have here a Personas Studio Live Series 3 64S. I have my input and output stage box here that I would put on my stage maybe, or even leave it out front of house if I just need the extra IO at front of house. And then here is a multi-channel headphone amp. In this case, this is a six-channel headphone amplifier from Personas as well, called the HP60. It passes audio nice and cleanly, has good sound, um, everything comes through well. This is a volume attenuator from Elite Core Audio. Here's what makes these kinds of tools really great. First off, this is going to cost you a lot less per individual channel to use. This volume attenuator from Elite Core Audio costs about $32, $33 per little box. So to support six in-ear monitor mixes, I will need to have six of these. For $32 per channel, these are very affordable. I'm spending much less than the five or $800 that I would need to spend for a wireless in-ear system. However, this alone is insufficient. This is a headphone volume attenuator. Right, so this is not a headphone amplifier. This will not pump the sound necessary to really drive your headphones well if you just plug the output of the console right into this. This is a piece of the puzzle. Now this has an XLR input and a headphone jack output and a nice little volume knob. But like I said, this is only a piece of the puzzle. The other thing you need is a headphone amplifier. Now typically you can buy a headphone amplifier from someone like Rolls that has the attenuator built into it, but that's gonna require power. And so then you have to either put a battery in this pack, or you have to uh, run a power cable to this pack, and that can be pretty cumbersome. The cost of batteries can add up very quickly. Double A's right now cost you anywhere between 25 to 35 cents a battery. So you're talking 60 cents every time you use these, which adds up pretty quickly. Even if you only use them on Sundays and you change the battery every Sunday, 52 Sundays, you're adding $25 a year to your expense here, which these things, they're built well, they're nice and tough. They're gonna last you a long time and you're gonna be spending money on that. 
So instead of that solution, what we have decided to do, and what I recommend, is a multiple channel headphone amplifier. So this one takes in six, has six headphone amplifiers built into it with quarter inch outputs. So what we are able to do here is we are able to take the quarter inch output of this headphone amplifier, run it to, uh, on a cable that's quarter inch on one side and XLR male on the other side, plug it into this attenuator, and now we have amplified, headphone amplified sound with the ability to turn the volume down here at my belt pack, at my individual place, and then you just buy the cables the length that you need. So we are using a combination of 25 and 50 foot long cables. We run them to roughly where our instrumentalists or singers will be standing. Um, then they can grab this and they have lots of room to move around uh, depending on where they need to go. So you obviously have to get sound into this device. So that's why my I.O. box is here. I have eight outputs on this I.O. box, but I'm using six of them right now and doing this whole system in mono. So these are XLR female to tip ring sleeve TRS jacks that go into the back of this and then come out the front of this. And what I do here is I simply turn the volume output all the way up on each of these individual channels. Then this attenuator at all the way up is all the way up, no attenuation. And if I turn it down, it heavily attenuates, so you can turn down all the way that you need to, giving the person, without any extra power or battery or weight added onto this, the ability to turn their volume up and down as a master right there on their side. This headphone amplifier here costs about $350. So, if I use this and I buy, I have no cabling. Let's say I have no cabling. I buy six 25-foot cables. I buy six Elite Core headphone attenuators, I buy six three-foot cables just to get from this stage box to my headphone amplifier. I buy my headphone amplifier, that's $550 total. This is less than $100 per channel. It's close to $70 or $80 per channel, which is really a very good price because this is less than half the cost of what it might have cost for you to get a single channel of speaker monitor going on in front of you, floor wedge if you will. Now. One thing this does assume is that all of our people bring their own headphones, which maybe they don't. But even if they don't, and I go out and I buy maybe some Shure SE215s, I can get six of those, add $600 to this, puts my total cost $1150, still really close to the price of one single wedge monitor with its amplifier and everything that it needs. And now I actually have the capacity to run six different mixes directly to people's in-ears. Now this works best if you have either a monitor engineer or if you use some sort of app connected to your front of house console allowing your individuals to mix their own ear mixes. So in our case, we use the second, the latter method, front of house console. This console right here behind me can be connected to with an app called QMix UC. Um, each of these headphone amplifier channels are receiving their own individual mix. We're using mono, so we're only using six mixes but we could decide to use them in stereo, which would just occupy 12 mixes on our console. And then each of our individual musicians, both instrumentalists and vocalists, can decide, I need to hear more of this, less of this, and they mix their own ears that only they hear. This is a great solution. It's a very cost-effective solution. It doesn't cost anything for them to get the app. It costs less money than getting a single good wedge. Maybe the cost of two okay wedges. Maybe you're more of a budget-friendly person. There are some great loudspeakers out there, powered loudspeakers even today, in the $500 price point. So for the cost of two of those, you can now have, so two mixes, pretty good mixes though, you can now have six mixes individualized to each person and avoid the extra sound getting on your stage and bleeding into your room. So this is a solution that we use. I will put links to each of these products that we're using here. There's another product, um, Behringer makes one that is a less expensive headphone amplifier than the Personas. Um, it maybe doesn't sound quite as good, but it has eight channels instead of six for like a hundred and something dollars. So less than half the cost, you can save even more money, get more outputs out of it. And that's a great solution too. We do have one of those as well in our church. So hope this is helpful to you. Have a great day.